What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about our weave today, ARUSDT on the Binance chart. Uh, the reason I'm using this chart is it has the most historical data that I could find out of any chart on TradingView. If I'm wrong on that, if there is one that has more data, please enlighten me. Let me know. I, I like using the most uh, data available, but I also want a chart that has good volume, right? If there's no volume, like, uh, I don't know, if you type in USD here, you can get the crypto one. There's no volume, but it's the same amount of history. So at any rate, I'd like to use the Binance one. It's got more volume and Binance, the USDT pairs has the most volume uh, out of any exchange. At, at any rate, let's continue. Hit that like button, subscribe if you'd like to. Our weave right now, one of the more bullish looking charts in crypto. And I gotta be honest guys, this is my first time looking at the chart. I've heard of our weave before. I haven't given it a thought or even like looked into it. I couldn't even tell you what our weave does, man. But that's not the point of technical analysis. You know, I can tell you what charts do. I just, I don't know what the, the crypto itself does. My, my main point is, this is one that's kind of gone under, under the radar for me. So expect an unbiased opinion here, right? I have no attachments to this. Um, I've done technical analysis for seven years, uh, over seven years now. Um, and from what I know, just like immediately looking at this chart, it's it's ridiculously bullish, man. This is this is one of the more bullish charts in crypto. I think what you're doing right now, you have like a, an A wave here, a first move up, a consolidation wave here. You're you know A, so it's like one, two, three four and then you're on your fifth leg right now moving up potentially maybe this whole thing is your your consolidation phase i don't know um it, it could be looked at that I, I suppose maybe this move down was your consolidation phase and this is the beginning of your next move up you know it's hard to say um but i do think you're moving higher any at any uh way you look at it from high to low here you can see that you found resistance at your 382 area. You didn't quite reach it, but you did find resistance in this zone, an area that you found resistance before, support before even, um, support even going back here. Uh, but then you rejected that, came down, found support on your 236. This little maneuver where you go from your 382 to your 236, it's classic when working your way up to the 618 zone. But you didn't do that, did you? You didn't You didn't work your way up to the 618. You worked your way all the way up to the 786. And what you did after that was miraculous. It's it's definitely actually a really, a really strong signal for the bulls to continue this move up, which is you rejected the 786 and you held the 618 zone. Yes, you wicked below it, but you closed back above it. Two weeks in a row with a tweezer bottom down there. So this look in itself tells me you're not only ready for the next level, which is the 886 at 63, I'm sorry. Yeah, $63. Um, but that you're ready for extensions. You're ready for 217, 218 dollars, 661 higher than that, literally higher than that, right? If we look at the current price, what it's worth, and we were to do a 10x, let's just do a 10x right there at 413 dollars essentially. A 10x in its market cap right now would put you at a 26.8 billion dollar market cap. Absolutely, you could see that. You could see double that. Like you could genuinely see Arweave by the end of this cycle, guys, being worth multiple thousands of dollars, if not at least over a thousand dollars. I would think at least fifteen hundred or higher. Um all the way up at five K there, I mean that's a that's a one hundred and thirty one X. I don't know if you see that. I don't personally believe you see that. I suppose it's possible, but I think probably fifteen hundred would be the high that you see, if not potentially six hundred and sixty one, you know. Um, at the lowest, my lowest expectation would be 400, or sorry, uh, 217, but I don't think you're going to stop there. I think with how bullish you look and how early we are in the cycle right now, I very much do believe we're early. The having just happened. Um, I could see you exceeding past this price. At any rate, looking at the chart for what it's worth now and the more immediate move, um, I do think that you're looking like you want to break up higher. I do believe that's your low. And if you were to move down from here, you're at 41.18. I would doubt that you broke below $30, right? Or even even probably below $34. I'd have a hard time seeing at this point in time. Looking at the daily RSI, it's so bullish, man. The weekly RSI itself is bullish as well. Um, but the daily, just tipping the oversold zone, loving to be above the 50 area, consolidating around here around the bullish area of control. You're also consolidating in your price, like just right at this resistance point, which I forgot to mention. It's actually a key point in itself, right? If we take 
closing weekly highs here. You can see resistance, resistance, time and time again, resistance, resistance, support, support. It's a key area. And I think breaking this area will take you, just looking at price, would take you to the next zone up here, which would at least be $76, or maybe I should say at the least would be 60 bucks, 60 to 76 bucks. Um, and while that's cool, 60 to 76 bucks is cool. The real target to look for, I think, from this high to low is 63 yeah 63 bucks that's the real target to look for when you break above that on a weekly basis your next target is literally 218 dollars so at this point in time the way this looks the way the chart looks with this fib i would say that you are likely to go to this zone inevitably but when is the question right you want to know when am i going to go up there is it this month is it next month is it two months from now is it is it uh you know not like that do we move up, we reject, and then we consolidate for a while, and then it's sometime next year that we see this prices. You know, those are all questions that will be answered in time, but also my, my genuine opinion is we don't know until we interact with this 886 area. I wanna see how we perform. Can we break above $63.18 essentially on a weekly closing or multi-day closing basis? And if we can, then in, 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 the, in the very near future is the best answer for when we will see these uh, targets come about. It does look like you like to move fast when you are moving up. It looks like you have no problem doing that. So when we break the 886, I would expect you would get a nice move up uh, to that. You know, it, it wouldn't, when I say to that, I mean the expected range between 218 to $661. Um, it probably wouldn't take a week to get up there. It might not even take a month. It could take over a month, but nonetheless, you know, you might be marching your way up. This is a very nice positive move here that you had from a low in February all the way up to the high in March. That took a whole month, literally February 5th to March 4th, the week of March 4th. It took a whole month to accomplish that. So uh, I'm just saying, you know, talking about, about the same distance in price um, from like your current place. Let's see, actually, I'm kind of curious low to high, you know, that right there. Yeah, that's like the, the same exact move. I mean, it that would mean at least from here, it would be mid June before you saw these prices. And I, I don't know if you're going to do that now, right? That's, that's, it's hard. It's really hard to say you could be in the midst of the move. It's going to take you up to these expected extensions, but we don't know until you break above the 886. I feel like I've gone over that enough. Let's move on. Um, and look back at the daily now. So the daily RSI, what you want to see is you want to see these readings holding above the 60. You're wrestling with it now, but I think you will get above the 60. And really what you want to do is get a, get into the overbought zone. And as you get into the overbought zone, you start flirting with this area. You either want to bounce, you know, kind of bounce like this off the 60 and like stay in it, bounce directly off the overbought zone like that, whatever. You want to hang out in the overbought zone as long as you can. And then whenever it's time to cool down, Ideally, don't go below the 50 or even more ideally bounce off this this 60 line here If you do go below the 50 holding the 40 is the next kind of best thing um, But if you see an oversold reading on your daily It's not really as detrimental. It, it could just mean, you know, you're in kind of a phase of consolidation as you were here, right? Like same thing Oversold you were just in a longer kind of phase of consolidation, but it's really not that long Right from March till now. It's a couple months. Don't get me wrong, you know, but it's it's not that long um, at any rate, I keep saying that at, at any rate, I would say that I expect our weave to move up soon. I think that, you know, you can only hit this area of resistance so many times before it finally gives. And when it does give the next like immediate targets that, that are to be looked for, I mean, obviously $63, right, is, is a target to keep in mind, but the, the immediate targets would be $58, $59, something like that, to $76 in that range. And if you can close above 63, it's it's 63, right? I'm pretty sure it's 63, high to low. Yeah, if you can close above $63, um, that would be very encouraging for a more immediate move to higher grounds. So. Anyways, man, I, I've got nothing else I want to say. I feel like that's that. Our weave definitely has a lot of potential. It's looking good right now. Um, and I think it's in the middle of its kind of last phase up, its last leg up before it sees a, a longer period of consolidation. Whenever it does consolidate, um, you know, that doesn't mean that it's going all the way down back to new lows. That doesn't mean the bull market's over. It just means this move, you know, it, I don't know, it'd be like five legs 
one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty common. Um, you don't really continue past that. I mean, you could go five, six, seven, I should, I suppose. And then maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe, maybe this is all one leg here. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not the best with Elliott wave theory. Um, and if you don't know what that is, don't even worry about it. You know, I mean, you can look it up if you want to, but it's just, it's a theory about the way that charts move. Um, and I'm, again, I'm not that well practicing it. What I am practicing is fibs, but that's beside the point. All I'm trying to say is I think you have one last leg up and then you'll probably consolidate for a longer period of time, longer than just this, longer than just this. It might be like a multi-month. Um, I suppose that was a multi-month phase right there. Um, as was this actually, but it would be it might, it might be a longer phase of consolidation before you continue to move higher. Anyways, that's all I got. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.